Now, before we start the video, I do want to mention that, that sounds sick. What you're about to see is me about the third day after I had gotten a peel treatment for my skin. So this is like at the point where it's peeling the most. And not only that, but I actually wore foundation that day when I probably shouldn't have been. It was the end of the day, so foundation was looking like shit. Dry as fuck, peely, worse than I thought because I have like my little monitor next to the camera so I can see what's going on. But when I put the footage on my computer, um, she was shedding like a snake. But luckily, this product I'm gonna review has nothing to do with the skin, like foundation or anything. So uh, I hope you are able to enjoy it anyway. <laughs> Um, someone tagged me in a post on Instagram uh, showing this product that I thought was really let me focus, uh, really interesting and it's an April Skin product and the thing is their original cushions were bomb as fuck and then they started doing other makeup. I can't say the same about those so hopefully this shit isn't just like gimmicky. These are the fixing shields. This one is for eyes and this one is for lips. And basically, they're just like top coats for your makeup. Um, the eye shield, you you do your eye your eye makeup, and then you do your lip makeup, and um, you literally just like brush it on and let it dry, and then um, it's supposed to prevent it from smudging and creasing. Uh, same with the the lip one. So we're gonna try them today and see how they work. Cause these are actually pretty expensive for like what they are. I think. Well, it depends on how many uses you probably get out of this. I paid like like $35 for both of them. That's kind of pricey for products like this small. What if they don't even work? This one is just like a uh, nail polish bottom. So I'm kind of like, I'm a little, I mean, obviously it's not nail polish, but uh, I'm a little worried that there's some chemicals in there. I don't know if I want them around. I don't know if I want them around my, uh, my eyes. And then this one is just, and this one is just, little squeeze tube. So I already have my eye makeup on. I do have to put something on my lips. Um, but I really want to test this with... I want to test this with something that can smudge easily and that would be eyeliner. Um, this Pony Effect eyeliner, uh, the Profection brush liner, isn't really that great. So we're gonna try it with this one because this, like, I'm pretty sure if you look... Because in the video that they have on Instagram, this girl was like one side... They did one side with the uh, eye shield or whatever, the fixing shield. And then the other side they didn't obviously. And then the side that didn't, she like really rubbed that shit off, but on the other side she was kind of just like, uh -huh, Oh look at that, it didn't smudge, but I probably should not be tugging at my eyes, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it for the vine. God, my skin's so- oh my god. You see how dry my skin is? Sorry about that, um, it's like the second day after getting a Troy peel, so, um, whatever. I'm not really an eyeliner kind of person, um, I kind of stopped using eyeliner, so... Please forgive my uh, shitty eyelining skills. Alright, I've got some eyeliner on. Now I'm gonna wait until this is dry and then we're gonna try the fixing eye shield. Oh, bitch. Oh my god. I'm gonna try putting it on this eye uh, and we'll see how it goes. I'm just applying it like I would nail polish. It says you're supposed to apply this all over, like, everything basically. I did wear my makeup for a few hours already. Oh shit, do you see that? You see that? It's kind of making my eye makeup crease. Okay, I need to like not open my, I need to not like open my eyes too wide or else it will cre crease the rest of my makeup. I'll leave that on. I don't know how long we're supposed to wait. Oh, I can feel it like tightening. And so far it hasn't like affected the color like it looks the same as my other one. I'm wondering if it dries matte though, cause oh my god, did I just like? Do you guys notice here how it's my makeup? I don't know if it's because I had my makeup on for a long time already, or not that long, but I've had it on for several hours already. But it is causing oh gosh, she, she oh she's she feels a little tight. Okay, if I were you, I would do your eye makeup and then just like tilt your head back and kind of uh just don't do that. All right, that took about a minute in 20, 30 seconds or so to dry and now it feels um, like there's a little bit of tightness but it's not like super uncomfortable like you know when your skin is dry and your skin feels all tight and um, well it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like that it just feels 
It just feels like you have a top coat on your eyelid. All right, so now is the moment of truth. This side has nothing, so obviously if I'm gonna rub really hard, she smudges. And this side, I wanna apply the same amount, if not harder pressure, because I really wanna see if this actually works, okay? Well, first, let me rub it lightly. Oh, nothing, okay. Ooh, all right. All right, with that test being done, this would be useful if, um, you know sometimes your eye, especially if you wear makeup, eye makeup and contact lenses, you kind of want to rub the inner corner of your eye or like some part of your eye gets a little itchy. I think this will help you at least like rub it a little bit so you don't have to worry about smudging it um, if you're just applying a little pressure. But now we're going to see if I rub really hard, okay? All right. What the fuck? All right, so you can see little crusts of eyeshadow here that kind of like peeled off. And, but for the most part, it's not like smudged like this side. Okay. Oh shit, you can see. <laughs> you can see my eye makeup coming off. But for the most part, I mean, I wouldn't want to be rubbing my eye this hard. You know what I mean? Like who rubs their eyes that hard when they're wearing eye makeup? But I can definitely see how this will add a layer of protection over your eyeshadow. For the most part, it's pretty much still there. Um, I, I can't imagine rubbing my eyes super hard that it smudges my eyeshadow like this, like with the top coat on. So I think it just adds like a layer of security on your eyelids. And I can definitely tell this would be really useful for people with oily lids um, or lids that are like mine where when your eyes are open, like the skin here touches the skin up here and so it can uh, kind of mess up your eyeshadow um but other than that, it didn't really affect like the way my eyeshadow looked other than it creasing a little bit because i was opening my eye while i was applying while it was still wet but yeah it's, it didn't survive 100 percent that really hard rub test but again i don't know why anyone would be rubbing their mouth their eye that hard so um it did better than i thought it would i would rate this probably like a 7 out of 10 maybe because it wasn't it doesn't feel uncomfortable on the eyelids it's just that it takes about a minute or two um so depending on how much time you have um that might be of concern but i'm really surprised at the eyeliner because here the general shape of the eye liner is still there but um it's kind of smudging off here here what i think it's doing is that it's kind of melding with the actual makeup and like Hardening, hardening itself to the makeup. So like when I'm rubbing it really hard, you can see that the makeup's coming off in chunks. So uh, I don't know, take what you want with that. But you know what I will say, I was trying to squeeze some bottle, I'm just, just, just some bottle. I was trying to squeeze some product out for the thumbnail shot, but literally, you know when you have like toothpaste and you have to like squeeze from the bottom to get it out, you know, all the excess product in here to get it out. I had gotten like up to here maybe and there was still no product coming out. So I will say, this was like, I don't remember how much this was, but um, you're, you don't get that much product at all. Hopefully you don't need that much. But uh, right now I'm wearing the cream paint from Moonshot and these things, they they smudge. They do not last that long. Like you have to be not eating, not drinking, not doing anything with your mouth or else they will fade off. So um, I just applied it. And as you can see, it smudges obviously. Like, do you see this? I'm squeezing. Do you see all this? I'm squeezing all this and there's like nothing coming out. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Look. Do you see that? There's like nothing. Uh, oh! Oh! Okay, I got that much out. I think you just... Apply it? I don't know. I want to tap because... If I rub... It will obviously move the lip product around. I will say that this smells really good. It reminds me of fucking, what is it? Gushers? Fruit candy? <laughs> the really sweet fruity smell. So I'm gonna let this dry and I'll be right back. All right, this is taking a while to dry. It's been like two minutes, two minutes, three minutes, and it still feels like, and even there's a little bit of shine. Did I put too much? I don't know, but it feels, you know what it feels like? It feels like those Peripeta uh, velvet lip tints, really soft and smooth and pillowy. Surprisingly, it didn't make the- oh my god, I'm so sorry about my skin. Surprisingly, it didn't make the makeup- or not the makeup, the lip color, like, it didn't affect it in any way. It actually looks a little bit better when uh, I put the thing on top, but of course it might be just because of the products I use. But um, it didn't, like, disrupt the lip makeup itself, so. But now we're gonna see if it actually, like, tra it's transfer proof now. Ah, oh, look at that! This is- what was this? What was something else. Oh no, that was, from, that was from my lips. I guess I didn't put it all the way in 
to like the very inner part of my lips, but it's still there, surprisingly. You look at that, it's just the very inner part of my lips. You know what it makes it feel like? It makes it feel like a liquid lipstick in a way. Okay. Oh my god, I look fucking crazy. <laughs> um, I want to try it with this lipstick that's really moisturizing, and so of course that translates to very smudgy. Let's see how it works on like a regular lipstick. So as you can see, it's a super moist formula, which fuck completely smudges upon upon contact. And now I'm gonna add some of that fixing shield on top. I didn't really get on my finger very much. Uh, and now we wait. Okay, this is also kind of taking a while to dry and it feels very, like, feels the same. Almost makes the lipstick look a little gloopy in some areas, but I don't know. Ooh, that did pretty well for the formula that that lipstick was in. Okay, I think I'm sorry. I, uh, no, the more I try to touch my mouth, the more it smudges. So I guess it depends on the type of formula of lipstick that you use, but I think if you are wearing a uh, liquid lipstick or a tint or something like the uh, Moonshot lip cream that I was using, um, it should help it last a little bit longer. At least if you were to like drink or eat or something. I wish I could test that, but I don't have any food on me right now. I don't know. I don't know whether or not I should recommend these because they're a little bit expensive for what you're getting. Maybe the eye shield one, maybe that one. But the lip one, I don't think is worth it because it's, well, one, you don't get any product in there. And two, I don't know, you guys saw how it performed. Um, I think you guys can draw your own conclusions for that. So um, I'm going to wash my face because I look like shit right now. Um, I'll link these down below if you're interested. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.